Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. This is another episode of Gutenberg block development and in today's video we are going to get to know a little bit more about block.json file because this file is one of the core files of a Gutenberg block. Alright, so let's get started. I am going to open my VS code if you followed my previous videos you know that we already set up our environment development and we already have a Gutenberg block up and running and in here you can see we already have three blocks three test blocks so in today's video we are going to check one of the block.json file and we are going to see what we can do with this file all right so i am opening block test 2 and i opened block.json file so in here you can see we have the name of this block and we can change this all right and we have the version this version is coming from the plugin itself the plugin is version uh, 0.1 and this is the version of this block so if i'm changing this title the title would be changed so this is a test title all right so before saving this we should be we should run npm run a start command all right after that we are good to go and i am going to save this if you if you see here you can see that the title is test block 2 but we changed this into this is a test title all right so i'm going to refresh this and you can see the title is changed all right so let's get back here another thing that we can change uh, the category all right we can change the category of the block for example if we change it to text this block will be under this category so i am changing this and i say this should belongs to text category all right so let's refresh this and if we check this we don't have this block under our own category so we can see it under the text category if we change it to media this would be under media if we change it to design this would happen again and so on all right let's get back to our custom category in here we can change this icon as well so custom icon and also the default icons of uh, wordpress dash icon so if you want to change this we should go to wordpress dash icons and this is the website so i am going to copy this dash i we, we shouldn't put dash icons and just the second part would be great so let's refresh this and as you can see the icon is changed and also we can put our own icons but Mm, I'm going to teach you on another video okay so after changing the icons we can change the description to anything we want all right so this is a this is a description for example this is a description for this block and I'm going to save this right now you can see the description is totally different so I am going to refresh this and here you can see that description is totally different and we changed the description all right guys so in this video we are going to end this video right now because 
we already learned about all of this and the other part we are going to talk about the other part into the next video all right so i will see you on the next video